Good morning to one and all present here. I am N.K. Shrikriti, student of class 5B, APS Meerat Kand, and I stand before you to present a story from Mizoram. This is, a, this is from the activity Folklore Fun, and the story's title is Nahya and Chara. Chara and Nahya are two brothers. Nahya, the elder one, has always been more of a trickster. He would trick people into giving him what he wants. Whereas Chara, the smaller one, would always fall for Nahya's tricks, as he was more simple and innocent. When it came to their father's property, then also Nahya tricked Chara into getting the bigger portion, and Chara had got the smaller one. But Chara's family was still quite happy and comfortable. Though his house was smaller, he maintained it very well. Whereas Nahia never bothered to take care of his house. So, his house had many problems. And one of them was that his roof had holes in them. Especially now, a rainy season had come. He had to do something or else his house would fill up with water. When this thought came to Nahia, he thought to himself, Hmm, I have to do something about this. Yet, he didn't want to maintain his house. He wanted to take the easy way out. Then, he looked outside at Chara's house, which was nicely maintained. Why should I maintain my house when I can easily... Why should I maintain my house when I can easily swap the houses? He thought. Now, you must think, why would Chara accept to swap the house? But Nahya knows how to trick his brother. His tricking formula, understanding character. Before tricking anyone, he understands their character and how to trick them. For Chara, he is innocent and falls for Nahia's tricks. Family not around. Chara's family has had gone to visit their uncle's house. So, with them not around, it would be easier to trick Chara. And last but not least, acting. He would act into getting the house. He goes to Chara and says, Chara, your house is good, but not as good as mine. At my house, you can see the moon and the stars too. Now, to Nahia's uh, now, as Nahia thought, Chara got tricked by him and said, Wow, you, ha you can see the sky? I want a house like that too. I am your elder brother. I, I can give my house to you. I have no problem with that. He says. After that, they swap their houses. Nahia happily goes into Chara's house, but Chara is going to have a bit of a problem after. Next day, Chara's family returns from their, uh, returns from their uncle's house. And that very night, it starts raining heavily. Poor Chara's family struggles all night finding a dry place in the house. Due to this, they could not sleep the entire night. The next day, Chara's wife and daughter started discuss discussing this matter. The wife says, We cannot stay like this. We have to swap back the houses. But how? They know that if they talk to their, their that if they talk to Nahia, he would never agree. So the daughter said, We will have to do the exact same thing uncle has did with our father. We have to trick him. Her tricking formula is wear their flashiest and nicest clothes to and appeal to Nahia's curiosity. And exactly as Chara's daughter assumes, Nahia gets curious and asks, Why are you all wearing such good clothes? Chara replies, I can't tell you. My daughter has told me not to. Then Nahia gets impatient and asks, and decides to go to Chara's house and starts talking to everyone, trying to get some clues. Then Chara's daughter says, Yesterday, when it rained, a lot of diamonds fell inside the house and pretends to regret telling this to Nahia. Nahia falls for her trick. Now, you might think, Nahia is so intelligent. Why would he fall for the silly joke? Yet, as they say, greed gets the best of everyone. The daughter pretends that she's caught and says, Uncle, 
as you know everything now let me tell you that your house is at a special location where sometimes when it rains diamonds fall and by selling those diamonds we got all this money that we can wear such amazing clothes every single day nahia replies this is my house how dare you we are going to swap back the houses and i will not swap and i will not let you swap them again chara's family pretends to be sad and return to their house whereas this whereas today's night whereas the the next whereas chara waits for the night whereas nahia waits for the night and when it will rain so that those diamonds can fall inside his house and he may become rich but that night it did rain but nahia did not get any diamonds he he realized that chara's family had tricked him now regretting what he had done to chara he was finding a dry place in the house trying to get find a dry place mopping the house and mopping the house and trying to get the daughter pretends that she's caught and says uncle now that you know everything let me explain your house is at a special location where sometimes when it rains diamonds fall and by those and by selling those diamonds we have become so rich that we can wear costly jewels and such beautiful clothes every single day now nahia falls for their silly joke nahia falls for this and says this is my house how dare you guys live in this i i am going to take the house back you better return to your house the diamond should have been mine not yours chara's family pretends that they were sad and go back into their house whereas they were actually happy now nahia goes into his house waiting when it's going to rain when all those precious diamonds are going to come when he will become rich then that very night it starts raining well it well that night it did rain but as you know no such diamonds fell and na and na he are still waiting trying to figure out why the diamonds are not falling then his house starts to flood over he takes the mop mops it everywhere taking out all of, all of the dust taking out all the leaves then he realizes that chara family had tricked him now regretting what he had done to chara he goes and says i am sorry what i have done to you and from now i will maintain my house properly thank you